Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is QAM modulation and what is 16 QAM. QAM stands for Quadrature Amplitude Modulation. QAM is both an analog and a digital modulation method, but here we are only talking about QAM as a digital modulation. Quadrature means that two carrier waves are being used, one sine wave and one cosine wave. These two waves are auto faced with each other by 90 degree. This is called quadrature. At the receiving end, the sine and the cosine wave can be decoded independently. This means that by using both a sine wave and a cosine wave, the communication channel's capacity is doubled, comparing to using only one sine wave or one cosine wave. That is why quadrature is such a popular technique for digital modulation. Quam modulation is a combination of amplitude shift keying and phase shift keying. Both carrier wave is modulated by changing both its amplitude and phase. As shown in this 8 Quam waveform, the top is a sine wave carrier. For bit 000, the sine wave has a phase shift of 0 degree and amplitude of 2, while for bit 110, the phase shift is 180 degree and the amplitude now is 1. So both phase and amplitude are changed. In 16 QAM, the input binary data is combined into groups of 4 bits called quad bits. As shown in this picture, the I and the I apostrophe bits are sent to the sine wave modulation path, and the Q and the Q apostrophe bits are sent to the cosine wave path. Since the bits are split and sent in parallel, so the symbol rate has been reduced to a quarter of the input binary bit rate. If the input binary data rate is 100 gigabit per second, then the symbol rate is reduced to only 25 gigabit per second. This is the reason why 16 QAM is under hot research for 100 gigabit per second fiber optic communication. The I and the Q bits control the carrier wave's phase shift. If the bit is 0, then the phase shift is 180 degree. If the bit is 1, then the phase shift is 0 degree. The I apostrophe and the Q apostrophe bits control the carrier wave's amplitude. If the bit is 0, then the amplitude is 0.22 volt. If the bit is 1, then the amplitude is 0.821 volt. So each pair of bits has four different outputs, as shown in this table. Then they are added up as a linear summer. 4 times 4 is 16, so there is a total of 16 different combinations at the total output. That is why this is called 16 QAM. This illustration shows an example of how the quad bit 0000 is modulated onto the carrier waves. Here, I and I apostrophe is 0, 0, so the output is negative 0.22 volt at the 2 to 4 level converter. When timed with the sine wave carrier, we get negative 0.22 sine 2 pi FCT. Here, FC is a carrier wave's frequency. QQ apostrophe is also 0, 0, so the other carrier wave output is negative 0.22 cosine 2 pi FCT. Here is the proof that quad bit 0000 is modulated as a sine wave with an amplitude of 0.311 volt and a phase shift of negative 135 degree. You can now pause for a moment to study the proof. This list shows the 16 quam modulation output with different amplitude and phase change for all 16 quad bits. On the right side is a constellation diagram which shows the positions of these quad bits on a IQ diagram. So there you have it. You can visit fo4sale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.